Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I would be talking about biochemistry important viva questions from blood topic. So our first topic in this session is like serum glucose estimation by GOD POD method. Glucose oxide oxidase and and peroxidase POD. Okay. So our first question is why is fluoride tube is used for collecting sample for blood glucose estimation glucose present in the blood sample collected for estimation undergoes glycolysis by rbc so that sugar value decreases by 5 to 10 mg per deciliter per hour fluoride prevents this by inhibiting the glycolytic enzyme enolase what do you understand by fasting postprandial and random blood sugar samples fasting sample is taken after an overnight fast nothing been taken by mouth in the morning except water postprandial sample is taken 2 hours after meal or 75 grams of glucose intake no other food is taken within that time Random sample is taken at any time irrespective of when the last meal was taken. What are the normal blood glucose values? Random blood glucose value is smaller than 160 mg per dl. Fasting blood glucose is 60 to 105 mg per dl and postprandial is smaller than 130 mg per dl. Name the hormones which regulates blood sugar level in the body. Insulin decreases the blood sugar level by increasing glucose utilization by the tissues. Glucagon, growth hormone, thyroxine, corticosteroids increases the blood sugar level. So we can say that insulin is hypoglycemic hormone and glucagon and other all other hormones are hyperglycemic. They increases the blood sugar level while insulin decreases the blood sugar level. So uh, whenever uh, you take food, so your blood glucose level is high, like it is in hyperglycemic condition. So insulin is released and it turns down the level of glucose in your blood. So what happens is from hyperglycemia, you come under hypoglycemia. So this is done by insulin, which takes the blood glucose from your blood and uh, takes it to the liver and store it uh, so what we can see uh, what we can say is like insulin is anabolic hormone but glucagon is catabolic hormone whenever you starve glucagon is released so that it can release glucose to the blood so to maintain the blood glucose level whenever you are starving so what happens in case of glucagon is glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis but with insulin what happens is glyco lysis and and glycogen synthesis like glycogeno gluconeogenesis okay so that's it <coughs> sorry <coughs> what is insulin insulin is a 34 amino acid polypeptide hormone which is secreted by the beta cells of isolate of langerhans in the pancreas in response to hyperglycemia what is the mechanism of insulin release from the beta cells? The beta cells are freely permeable to glucose via the GLUT2 glucose transporter 2 transporters and the glucose is phosphorylated by the glucokinase. Therefore, increase in blood glucose increases metabolic flux through glycolysis, the citric acid cycle and generation of ATP. The increase in ATP concentration inhibits ATP-sensitive potassium channels, causing depolarization of the cell membrane. This increases calcium influx via voltage-sensitive calcium channels, stimulating exocytosis of insulin. Thus, the concentration of insulin in blood parallels that of the blood glucose. Name other substances which cause release of insulin from pancreas. Apart from glucose, other substances which cause release of insulin from pancreas include amino acids, free, free fatty acids, ketone bodies, glucagon, secretin, and sulfonylurea drugs, tolbutamide, and glyburide. What are the causes of hyperglycemia? Diabetes mellitus, hyperactivity of pituitary, thyroid, or adrenal glands, drug induced or prolonged use of steroids. 
How is the blood sugar level regulated? Insulin is the only hormone that is secreted in response to hyperglycemia and it lowers blood glucose level by increasing the peripheral utilization of glucose. It recruits GLUT receptors to promote glucose transport into the cell and increases it, its utilization in glycolysis and glycogenesis. It inhibits gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. In hypoglycemia, glucagon is the main hormone that is secreted. It increases the blood sugar level by enhancing liver glycogenolysis, gluconeogenesis and in inhibiting glycolysis. So you can learn this fact by when insulin is there then the dephosphorylated state and when insulin is there in fed state and for glucagon it is phosphorylated state and in fasting stage what I learned from marrow thanks to Rebecca James Pam. What are the causes of hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia where the blood glucose level is less than 60 mg per dl. Common causes are overdose of insulin and other sugar lowering drugs during treatment, hypothyroidism, glycogen storage disorder, insulinomas, tumors which produce insulin. What is true glucose value? Blood glucose so blood sugar which is estimated using enzymatic method GOD-POD is called true glucose value because this enzyme only acts on glucose and no other reducing agent. The o tolidine method uses the reducing property of glucose for its estimation. There are other non-glucose reducing agents in the blood which will affect the result. The other non-glucose reducing agents are ascorbic acid, glutathione, uric acid etc which also react with o tolidine giving a higher blood glucose value thank you now comes second part of this glucose tolerance test gtt name the different types of glycosuria elementary glycosuria renal glycosuria diabetes glycosuria what do you understand by the term renal glycosuria and enumerates its causes Conditions characterized by urinary excretion of glucose at a blood concentration of glucose below the renal threshold value. Causes are Defect in sodium glucose co-transporter SGLT2 which is present in proximal tubules of kidney. Pregnancy due to reduction in the tubular reabsorption capacity. What do you understand by the term elementary glycosuria and enumerates its causes? Condition in which the fasting and 2 hours value are normal but an accelerated rise in blood glucose level in between above the threshold value leading to glycosuria following the ingestion of glucose milk. Seen in partial or total gastrectomy and in hyperthyroidism. What do you understand by the term renal threshold? What is the renal threshold for glucose? Renal th threshold is the highest value of the substance in blood glucose, up to which it will not appear in the urine. Renal threshold of glucose is 180 mg per dl. This means that glucose starts to appear in urine when its blood glucose level is more than 180 mg per dl.